Waukesha South suspect in court. Plymouth area crash sends multiple people to the hospital. Sheboygan is one of the drunkest cities in the nation. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Tuesday, December 10th, 2019. National rankings are popular point of conversation and usually not at all that important. But the 2019 report of the drunkest cities in the nation might be one of the most sobering of these rankings. According to the website 24-7 Wall Street, Sheboygan is the 12th drunkest city in the nation and one of the 11th Wisconsin cities that do dominate that top 20 list. That is up from number 15 last year. The top four were all Badger State entries, with Appleton topping the list, following by Oshkosh, Nina, Green Bay, and Madison. According to the report, 24% of Sheboygan adults drink excessively, compared with a national rate of 18%. Nearly 30% of driving deaths involve alcohol in this city that boasts over 230 bars, just over 200 per 100,000 persons. Multiple people were sent to the hospital Sunday night after a two-vehicle crash just west of Plymouth. It happened at around 8 o'clock at the intersection of J and E. According to the Sheboygan County Sheriff's Department, one car apparently didn't stop for a stop sign and T-boned another vehicle. People from both vehicles were injured and taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The accident still remains under investigation. A Sheboygan man is facing his seventh OWI after police found him asleep behind the wheel in an intersection. 46-year-old Eric Sonneman was arrested last week at the intersection of South 12th Street and Wilson Avenue. Once he began speaking with police, he ultimately admitted to taking Percocet and using heroin earlier that day. Sonneman was taken to St. Nicholas Hospital, where he was given Narcan, a drug that reverses the effects of opioids. According to police, Sonneman has three prior convictions for operating after revocation and six prior com convictions of operating a motor vehicle while intoxicated. His preliminary hearing is scheduled for Wednesday. An employee of Mishicot High School in Manitowoc County has been arrested on several sex-related charges. According to authorities, 27-year-old Andy Conan of Seymour was taken into custody at his home Wednesday night. Conan faces charges of sexual exploitation of a child under the age of 18, exposing a child to harmful materials, and soliciting intimate representation from a minor. According to court documents, a Sturgeon Bay police officer posing as a teenage boy exchanged multiple messages with Conan, who requested photos of him on several occasions. Bail is set at $15,000 cash for Conan, who is due back in court on December 26th. And the school, meanwhile, says this all took place off campus and did not involve any students there. Wisconsin National Guard Adjutant General Donald Dunbar is out. His resignation was requested and accepted by Governor Tony Evers following the botched handling of a number of sexual assault allegations within the Guard. Evers, who signed an executive order demanding a corrective action plan from the Guard, a federal review found detailed systematic failures by the Wisconsin National Guard in its handling of sexual assault, sexual harassment, and retaliation allegations, according to a press release from the governor's office. And finally, an 18-year-old Waukesha South High School student faces multiple charges in last week's gun incident at the school. 
Tyrone Smith made his initial court appearance on Monday, shortly after he was medically cleared and released from the hospital for gunshot wounds he received after allegedly brandishing a pellet gun in the school. A criminal complaint says Smith denied bringing the guns to school prior to last Monday and that he was tired of being picked on by other students, Smith said. He thought other kids would hear about this and be scared and that he was sorry and now knows it's wrong. He is due back in court next week for a preliminary hearing. Charges against Smith include second degree recklessly endangering the safety and obstructing an officer. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Thursday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.